to exercise is enormous fun and it's great to play this with kids because they love it. In fact, babies love to do this game and it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> so have fun with it. It's great to do and you know what? It actually makes you laugh more, especially if you play that with somebody else and you go have very serious faces and that game really works for them because they feel like they're on a winning streak. There's nothing wrong with it. Breathing in. <laughs> Our next laughter yoga exercise is falling in love. And we feel so. We feel a bit like... <laughs> There's often a shoulder involved in falling in love. <laughs> and falling in love is a very gentle experience, isn't it? Let's fall in love. <laughs> you could fall in love with yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gentle, easy laughter. Easy. Fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> you see pictures of your person? Ah, oh, it melts your heart. Ah, oh. <laughs> you get a phone call from your person. Oh. <laughs> you get a gift from your person. Ah, oh. <laughs> you get flowers from your person. Oh, <laughs> you get chocolates from your person, you know they are worth loving. <laughs> <laughs> Fall in love, laughter. Our next laughter yoga exercise is flying kiss laughter. <laughs> 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 you know, you could go so much bigger with that. <laughs> Blow your kisses everywhere. Set them on the wind. <laughs> the more that you spread the laughter and with the fun of the flying kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fun game to play and it evokes that inner laughter that just comes from absolute play. Breathing in. <laughs> the flying kiss laugh. Our next laughter yoga exercise is heart laughter. Now I love the way Jeffrey Breyer teaches heart laughter. He has his club in California. And it's so beautiful. You take your hands and you place them over your heart and then you breathe out and just laugh at anything that's around you. <laughs> so anything that's in your immediate vicinity, just place your hands towards your heart, breathing in, and then just laugh, a big hearty laugh. <laughs> I love that. Another way to do heart laughter is to make the shape of a heart. Some people like to make it like this. Do you see the tiny heart there? <laughs> and make that sign to other people. There's also the world's tiniest little heart over there. Can you see it? <laughs> there it sits. A tiny, tiny heart. And you know, there's another heart that I quite like. It goes in the shape of a heart like this. So you can do from your heart laughter <laughs> and send it to whomever. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you can send it around the world. <laughs> 
And you can open and breathe with the heart laughter. So it goes like this. <laughs> and as you expand your laughter, the heart can expand, breathing in. <laughs> yourself with laughter. Have some of these around. Why not? They are fun. <laughs> they feel like enormous fun, don't they? Yes, of course it is. And your heart of laughter. It's all about the love, isn't it? So laughter brings us laughter and love and all the things that feel so good. So the more you use your heart laughter, the more you enjoy the love of laughter and it brings you all that lightness of being. <laughs> Our next laughter yoga exercise is love yourself laughter. Now, a reminder, I have those three tiers of laughter. The first level is tiny. The next level is titillating. And the next level is turbo. <laughs> so when you love yourself at the tiny level, you just think, you're okay today. Yeah, love yourself a bit. Okay. <laughs> when you love yourself at the titillating level, you're so cute. I love you. I'm going to give you a kiss. <laughs> no, you can't do all your laughter now. <laughs> That's the turbo level. So let's go turbo love yourself. Hey, hey me, yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> I love my elbow. <laughs> love your wrist, hey! <laughs> love your pinky. <laughs> Love your ear. This is the this is your ear. It's so gorgeous. What did you say? <laughs> Love your chin. Uh, oh, I've got a dimple. That's because I keep loving it. There you go. You see. Love. 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 Love yourself. It's okay. And it's probably better that you do. <laughs> Our next laughter yoga exercise is meeting a friend after a long time. Now, many of us know that experience after all the lockdowns we've been through. So now you're out, you're at the shopping mall, you're walking, you're walking, you're thinking about all your troubles, and there you see your friend. <gasps> Let's see all of our friends and be expressive this time. You're going to laugh when you see them. You have not seen them for a long time. <gasps> Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi! So your friends further away? Hi! 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 <laughs> you thought it was your friend. Hi! And then you realize it's not your friend. Still laugh about it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I, I did see my other friend. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi to you. Hi. <laughs> Our next laughter exercise is drunk laughing. Now, drunk people don't believe that others know they're drunk, right? So they try to just participate in stuff and act normal. <laughs> so drunk laughter looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> Invariably, the hands go in the pockets to try and balance them. <laughs> and drunk people try to look like they aren't really. Um, 
too phased by stuff. So they're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can do a sway, you can do the classic elbow miss, you can do the classic lean and miss. <laughs> Let's do the lean and miss. Yeah! <laughs> So keep it as you like it. You can have tones of your drunk person's laughter. I like to have three tones. The first is tiny. <laughs> the next is titillating. <laughs> and the next one is turbo. That's really, really laughing. <laughs> don't realize that they're necessarily making you know not the prettiest faces or gestures with themselves but have fun with it it's a great opportunity to laugh and enjoy it let's do drunk person laughter <laughs> Next laughter yoga exercise is parking ticket laughter. Now let's face it, every time there's ever been a parking ticket in the history of ever, most people get really frustrated. In fact, we want to crunch that parking ticket up, don't we? So imagine, you've just been in the city, you got that parking, it was a great parking, but your business meeting went a bit longer than you thought. You get back to the car and there it is the parking ticket. Oh no, normally you would be angry, upset, frustrated, but with laughter, <laughs> I'm just going to crunch this up. <laughs> Let's do some parking ticket laughter together. Breathing in, get your parking ticket. <laughs> hey. Parking ticket laughter. Too, of course is that well hey you've got to pay that parking ticket so now we have to find it <laughs> and uncrunch it <laughs> you're half tempted to crunch it again but you know you've got to pay it so get on with it okay but do it with some laughter <laughs> See how much it is? <laughs> laughter exercise is somebody walks in while you're changing laughter <laughs> so you've been at the gym right and you've been doing some yoga and you're feeling very grounded and very beautiful and spiritual and connected and this is great but what you weren't expecting was somebody to walk in before you had your full underwear together right <laughs> So you would normally be doing ah, <laughs> covering up and being all shy and embarrassed. Well, now you can still cover up, but instead of going, ah, you can go. 
cover up. <laughs> See, because the other person is probably a little embarrassed too, right? So what do we do with laughter? We connect with other people. So let's do, somebody walked in while I was changing laughter. I'm changing. <laughs> Get them to laugh with you. I think it's the best way. <laughs> Let's do someone walks in while you're changing clothes. Deep breath in and release. 